what you're doing, so you can use them from here. Yeah. Put your sunglasses and you can dive knowing that your sunglasses are not, not going to get Great. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to appreciate this. What happens? Yes. We did this. I like this one here. There's another one inside. Awesome. Oh, We're coming back to the shelf. Ooh. We're coming back to the you guys are organized. Yeah, yeah. Even comes with tires. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tires are what some things in the US, some things here are like the same. I don't know if you've noticed on holiday, even the groceries, some of the stuff. Yeah. Is the same. Nice. <laughs> oh, here's the clip. I was looking oh, for this clip. Like... We found it. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know what those little fish are? We've seen them all over. Yes, yeah, those are the French grunts. Oh, cute. You my, my Bible. I was wondering what they were. Uh, oh, the fish Bible. Yay. Oh, the fish Bible. <laughs> oh my so goodness. Grunts. Yes. Grunts. <gasps> They're grunts. Let me show you. Those the... little ones that we keep seeing. Is the so the tom? Wait. Ah, yeah, the French grunt. Oh, yeah, they so change from cute. yellow to. <laughs> 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 Because of this bridge? Yeah. They just hit the bridge? It's not very wide. I mean, so I think some of the boats that come in here, they literally have like a half a meter clearance at each side. And the wind, you can feel the winds going across. It's famous in the yachting world for being like the worst place that they always hate it. <laughs> the when, when, the, when, the, when the people are like, well, we're going to go to some, all the yachts and all the sure. captains are like, going yeah. to the hyper stress because they're. There was a big one in February. Yeah, it's always my shoulder and my face. Wow. Last year, he got a lot of shit, that captain, but he didn't hit it because he was like, I wasn't. Oh, he was strong. But he did a good thing, actually, because if he didn't crash into this bridge, he would have been a huge problem. There's like 20, 30 boats in here that want to leave. Super cool, though. Thanks for this. Wow. Well, don't stop us anymore. Yeah, their other boats are better. They're ones that they use every day, Wow. Ah, clearance is pretty. Whoa.
I can't wait. That's my favorite cup. Let's just pull you up. Let's pull you up there. <laughs> I terrorize her like crazy. Oh, like crazy every day. Can I try pulling you up like there? No, it you might work. No. What if I pull you on the boat by your ponytail? Absolutely not. <laughs> He's so nice to me. Does that work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to try to find a ship. How old is that ship? 1850. HMS Proselyte. Yeah. 1850. Wow. wow. There are 18 cannons down there. 18, 18 cannons? Yeah, it was a big, big, uh, 16, so we'll have plenty, you know? Wow. And the anchors and everything are still there. Uh, the, the anchors are pristine, man. Like, they conserve the shape and everything. They're just full of stuff on the top. Man. Wow. You can really see it. Like, we have to point them out because they are like covered on. Yeah. Wow. But they look great. We got Scuba Stevie here. Struggle Bus Stevie. Struggle Bus Stevie. <laughs> Battery switch or is good for two guys? Uh, I switch cameras too. Oh, cool. right. Yeah. So just be careful if you go right to the bottom. Okay. My advice to you is to just stay, don't go into the very deep as well. Got it. It's so clear.
Hello. You uh, probably just saw some awesome scuba diving. I, I would say this is one of the better scuba dives we've had and all the dives that we've done. And that is thanks to, uh, I'll post down in the links, but the name of the scuba dive outfitters are SXM Divers. Probably one of the best dive outfits that I've had the pleasure of working with. This particular dive was very, uh, very special to me because I'm a big history buff, especially naval history and, I don't know, the sailing of the high seas back in the 16th, 17th, and 18th century is just fascinating to me. I do not know that on this particular trip that we would be finding a uh, wreck site of a ship that has substantial history in it. And the name of the ship was the HMS Proselyte. I was going to say that wrong regardless. I don't HMS, know if I'm saying it right. HMS Proselyte. It was built in 1770, which that's bananas to me. Um, so the ship is many hundreds of years old. It struck a reef on September 4th, 1801. And the exact spot that we are diving is where it essentially uh, hit the reef and sank. Luckily, all the crew was uh, saved. But this particular dive was amazing because there's three things that I love and two of them I witnessed on this dive. I'm a fanatic of cannons. Like, go ban ban bonkers over cannons. This dive, I saw the biggest cannon I've ever seen. Uh, I can't even bat and explain the girth of this cannon. They are 12 pounders. So they, they shot 12 pound cannonballs. Um, it, they were, it was huge and it was so cool. Another fact uh, that I saw on this dive was the original anchors from this ship. And they're in amazing shape. You literally could clearly see them. They're angled. There's three of them. I actually saw four. I saw a small one. Um, but I think today we are very lucky because the visibility was really good. I mean, our dive master said they were the best conditions he's seen in over six months, which is astounding because we've been so, so amazed at the visibility every single day, yeah. even just free diving, but apparently today was world class. It was, uh, and I think some of the more interesting animals, we all, to begin with, the very first dive we did today, we did another shipwreck. I know no info about it, um, except that the ocean is taking over, and we went down inside the ship and explored, and you'll see some of the footage. Unfortunately, it had a little bit of moisture in the case of the GoPro, so it might be a little foggy, so I do apologize for that, but um it was very cool to see that barracuda 
the Barracuda, Huge. biggest rays I've ever seen, steam rays. And tons of them. I mean, if you're looking for them, you see little eyeballs in the sand every so often. Yeah. So, I those were there. We saw reef sharks, which that's what you really wanted to see. That's what I set out to see. Turtles munching on. Just the general sea life on this dive was amazing. So, I would rate it in all the dives we've done i would say the if you are planning on coming to st martin and you're going to dive definitely dive with the this group of people sxm they're fantastic um they also know where some really good spots are and uh that, that aren't touristy i would i think that's the biggest thing is we literally went to actual wreckage sites and there is no people out there equipment was great and uh is one of those dives that you just kind of got to the surface and you're like, this was a good scuba dive. So, all in all, I think we uh, we had a very successful day of diving, and uh, well, I think if you if you've seen the video, then uh, you're about to witness some pretty cool.